video we're going to talk about conjugate addition or, or Michael addition and uh, we produce uh, one five uh, we produce one five di uh, ketones with this or you could say dicarbonyls okay and you'll see the pattern Michael addition so what does this mean well we take a conjugated ketone yeah or we take a conjugated carbonyl such as this yeah now this is in resonance form with with this yeah we have a positive charge there we have a negative charge on the oxygen okay so these two are in equilibrium and the idea is that i'm going to take a nucleophile yeah it's going to attack the carbon the the positive charge yeah and once it attacks then we generate something like this. My nucleophile is bonded to, okay, and we create something that looks like this, okay. So that's a general pattern. So let's walk through the mechanism. So if I take this compound here, it's conjugated, yeah, conjugate addition, and we add a nucleophile, yeah, it's going to come in and attack. The terminal end, the carbon-carbon double bond, and this simultaneous simultaneously, this will come in and form a double bond there, and this will kick up on the oxygen and form a, a, a negative charge. So now we have our nucleophile that's now bonded. Yeah, here's my double bond. Here's my oxygen that's negatively charged, and there's my my CH three. Okay, there's my CH three. Now typically we work this up in acid. Okay, so once we work it up in acid, here's what we get. We get our nucleophile. Yeah. We get our alkene. There's our alcohol. There's our CH3. Now, remember we said whenever we have a... These are tautomers, okay? So remember, this doesn't stay along in solution for long. When we have an alkene beside a an alcohol, we're going to get the double bond. We're going to get the ketones. So my new product shall look something like this. Okay, and we're forming 1,5 addition. Okay, that's the general procedure. So let's predict some products here. What if I took this molecule here? What if I took acetone and I add uh, and I add these two together? Yeah, what if I took acetone and add these two together? Yeah, and acid. What will I get? Yeah, so if I take these two together and add it in base first, I'm sorry about that. So I'm going to add in base first. Yeah, sodium methoxide. Yeah, and ethanol. What do we get? We get deprotonation of our alpha carbon. So in this case, because this is going to be your electrophile, we, we don't really have any alpha carbons on this, okay? So we know that this terminal end will actually be our electrophile. So the only way to get our alpha carbon, where the deprotonation will only occur on the acetone. So we get that plus the conjugated ketone. Okay. Now what will happen? This will simply attack. Okay. We form a bond there and we form a negative charge there. Okay. And so if I'm looking at this, we now, the molecule now looks something like this. This carbon, which is negative charged carbon, is now bonded to this carbon that has a double bond adjacent to the, adjacent to an, an, uh, an oxygen that's negatively charged with the, uh, oxygen that's negatively charged with the, uh, with the double bond. Okay, so again, you can see that this carbon is this carbon. This carbon is bonded to the terminal carbon. Okay, so this carbon is bonded to the terminal carbon. Okay, that has this carbon down there that has this carbon. Okay, so if I'm looking at this, we get to a structure that looks like this. And actually, my double bond shouldn't be there. It should be right here because look, we have one, two, three, four, five. So notice we have one five addition. Okay, and then we simply just work this up in acid. Okay, work this up in acid. We get our alcohol. We still have our double bond. And remember, we said whenever we have a double bond beside, and, and uh, whenever we have the double bond adjacent to an alcohol, we're going to get the ketone. So there's our ketone. 
yeah and this is the product that we get notice that we get a one five dye ketone or you could say carbonyl yeah so one two three four five so that's the, the idea behind Michael addition okay so let's predicate now the product okay, so what if we take this enamine chemistry here Yeah, what if we take this molecule and add this conjugated ketone? Well, again, I'm looking at 1,5 addition. I'm looking at 1,5 addition. So in this case, we know about enamine chemistry. And these two lone pairs actually come in, form a double bond. We added an acid. So come in, form a double bond. Okay, And this uh, double bond here will actually serve as your nuclear volatile to attack the terminal end. Okay, So it's going to attack the terminal end. And move the double bond there and again we don't need to go through the mechanism we just know that we're going to form one five dye product so if i'm looking at this we're going to get something that looks like this this now has a double bond yeah my nitrogen now have a, has a plus charge with four bonds this carbon is now bonded to my terminal carbon my terminal carbon has this carbon on it yeah a terminal carbon has this carbon on it, which has one more carbon that has my ketone. Yeah, and there's my pro and, there, and there's my there's my CH3 group. Now again, once we hydrolyze, and I just skip steps here because technically this should be a minus, but I just skip steps here. So when I hydrolyze, remember when we throw this whole top in acid, it actually goes to a ketone. So we actually get the product to be something like this. There's our ketone. One, two, three. And there's our product. So again, look at where they stand. There's one, two, three, four, five. So it's a one five dye carbonyl or one five dye ketone, however you want to see it as. Okay, so that's the idea behind Michael addition. That's the idea behind Michael addition. It's 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 pretty simple. We're getting conjugate addition at, at the terminal end. Okay, and I'm sorry, I think I kind of misexplained this a little bit. Okay, so again you know if 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 i want to i actually just want to just retouch on it real quick okay so if i take this ketone here and i add uh, this compound here yeah if i add this compound here well again in base i'm going to deprotonate yeah sodium methoxide i'm going to deprotonate and so i have this carbon that's negatively charged and it's now ready to attack the conjugated ketone and acid yeah so it's gonna attack okay so if I'm looking at this I have my carbon yeah, and this carbon is this carbon okay so this carbon is now bonded to this terminal carbon that has that carbon on there yeah so that carbon on there along with this okay here's our ketone Okay, so again, we have one, two, three, four, five, and here's a one, five uh, diketone. Okay, there's a one, five diketone. Again, I just kicked through the mechanism, but I wanted to show you that we add it in base and we get terminal addition. So we get the one, five diketone from conjugate addition. And we already went through the mechanism. Um, so again, again, nothing more, nothing difficult.